okay guys welcome back to my channel so I'm here now still at the show but what I would like to show you the African influence in home decor and home design it is quite evident at the show since I've been here since yesterday that um, we're seeing African made products products that are coming out of Africa and this particular display and design these products are actually from the Yoruba people in Nigeria and we're seeing that in many different designs throughout the show we're seeing African home decor as well as the design in interior so it seems like um, the West is turning to Africa for inspiration and design to bring into one's home so although I still feel like it's early in the year that material there is of metal but um, I've seen that in um, designs in West Africa that's made from wood but this one really is a replica of a wood piece that is done in a metal and here are um, Here's some lighting. This is definitely African. Uh, there's nothing European about this. Uh, the lighting fixture that you see here. Um, also the table. You see that? Um, you'll have to pardon me guys. I don't know whose um, coat that is on the table. But I am at a show. So anything is possible and can happen <laughs> at a show so look at that disc with that bird that is carved into this disc of wood um, the fabric that you see in the background is definitely uh, African cloth um, and it is really the texture of um, I'm trying to think of the name of not not Andinkra, but there's a name I'm trying to get out of my head <laughs> that uh, that fabric is made from I think once it comes to me uh, while I am editing this video I will write it down in the description box and I want and you guys to also, um, oh, here, so here's the two. wood. Uh, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what so you think of this. Okay, there it is, that's in wood. So I want you guys to uh, comment down below. What do you think about African inspired design and interiors as well as in home decor this one over here is also of metal um, this is definitely uh, a Yoruba carving for sure for sure for sure for sure as you can see the table um, how this table is structured that lamp up there also is very African inspired and oriented so you can also see where the indigenous people get um, their uh, sculptures from what was called totem poles it really came out of Africa so you see it right here now 
This is the structure that is out of Nigeria. Here's another one over here. Is this in the what you're giving me? Yes, so this is uh, the show. And I want you guys to see this chair. Look at this chair. It looks like this is ebony, which you know is a very strong wood. I was thinking of the name a showcase cloth, but that's not a showcase either. Um, I really have some of that cloth and I'm trying to think of the name of it if you guys know the name of this fabric this cloth um, from out of West Africa please list it in your comment section so here's the table you can really get to see um, a little bit better what this table looks like it was actually carved from a big tree you can see that look at the rings and it was really an old tree it wasn't a young tree either that was taken down to make this table it's really fabulous guys it's gorgeous so on that note guys I'm going to end this video I'm going to say goodbye um, if you've not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to make sure you get all of my notifications when I come on and don't forget to make a comment down below about what do you think um, about African inspired materials are now entering the homes of the affluent because this is considered a luxury brand so let me know down in the comment box what you think about an african inspired home furnishings and decor so until i see you again on the next one take care god bless and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.